Hello everyone and welcome to Skincare with Hiram. Welcome to the last installment of the best of 2023 videos. It's here you guys, we're at the end. You made it through, I'm proud of you. I am so freaking excited for this video because we've already been through cleansing balms, cleansers, serums, moisturizers, everything. But I wanted to create a specific video focused on Korean skincare because I have been testing out so many new Korean skincare brands this year. And I actually got to visit Korea and bought a whole bunch of new products. So stay tuned for that video, but I discovered so many new Korean skincare products that I absolutely love. And I figured I would just make a dedicated video focused specifically on Korean skincare, all the best products of 2023. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Okay, so this video is gonna be a little bit different than all the rest of the best of 2023 videos I've already done. With those, I only wanted to feature a few products. I was focused on skin concerns. This one, I just wanted to show you guys a bunch of skincare products from Korea that I'm absolutely obsessed with. So there's gonna be more products in this video. Plus this video is focusing on skincare brands that you can only find in Korea and have to get shipped over. Korean American skincare brands like Crave Beauty and Peach and Lily have been featured in my other videos, so make sure you go check those out. And I do wanna say all the products that I'm mentioning in today's video will be listed in the description box below. If you are interested in purchasing these products, I would really appreciate if you use those links because it helps to support me and my channel and all the craziness of experimenting and trying so many products to find the absolute best ones for you guys. The first product is definitely one that I did not expect to love or use as much as I have. It took me completely by surprise. The Beauty of Just Sun SPF 50 Stick Sunscreen. Now let me tell you guys, I am normally not a stick sunscreen girl. I have tried so many, whether it be USA Mineral ones and even a bunch of Korean ones. Like when I went to Korea, I bought a bunch of sunscreen sticks and none of them compare to the quality of the formula that the Beauty of Just Sun one has. It is so good. The first time I used it, I was like, is this real? How is this even a thing? Because it's such a fantastic formula. Like, oh my God, I'm absolutely obsessed. This is an $18 sunscreen stick that I would definitely say can work for any skin type, but people with oily skin would specifically really enjoy. Because not only does it have great ingredients like green tea oil, turmeric, and a ton of vegetable extracts, the reason I fell in love with this product is because of the finish on the skin. It does such an incredible job of feeling completely invisible, but not making your skin look greasy or shiny, which is one of the biggest grievances I've had with a lot of stick sunscreens. Like they'll look nice when you put them on, but they just make your skin look so shiny and greasy throughout the day. And I never have to worry about it with this one. If anything, this stick sunscreen helps to actually mattify my face and get rid of any excess shine or glow. Well, not glow, but greasiness. I believe I started using this product when I took one week off of skincare, which you should definitely go check out that video, but I've continued to use it. I absolutely love the formula. It truly feels like an effortless product where you can just swipe on your sunscreen throughout the day and it has bomb ingredients from a great brand. I absolutely love it and I'd have to say that's one of like the very top products from this year. The next one is another product for you oily skin babes out there because I know it's rough, it's difficult, it's a challenging world because it feels like everything's for dry skin. It is the iUnique Tea Tree Relief Serum. I started using this one up again this year and was just reminded by how good of a formula it is. It's so lightweight. It's great if you're struggling with sensitivity, irritation, or breakouts. The main ingredients are tea tree relief water, Centella Asiatica water, but it's also fragrance free with nice and a ton of antioxidant ingredients. It's just one of those formulas where I look at the ingredient list and I'm like, wow. And kind of a multifaceted formula because really anyone could use this, but I feel like it's one of the only serums out there that works if you live in a humid environment, if you struggle with really sensitive skin, or if you just want a serum experience that is lightweight, fast absorbing, sinks into the skin quickly. And as I started using this product again, I was like, damn, this is a really good one. Next, Next up is yet another sunscreen. And I'm just gonna warn you guys, there's a lot of sunscreens in this video. I really put myself to the test to try as many Korean sunscreens as possible. And some of these I have mentioned in the best sunscreens of 2023 video, but I wanted to mention these ones again, because not only is sunscreen the most important step in your routine, and I definitely recommend these ones, but also you guys really liked and engaged with these products when I mentioned them previously. And this product is actually your guys' top product of this year. It is the Cynic SPF 50 Gel Sunscreen. I remember first using this sunscreen and I was like, how is this even possible? How do you make such a nice light gel fast absorbing formula with literally no white cast whatsoever in such a high protection looks so amazing on the skin. And I've had multiple people come up to me after recommending this product being like, oh my gosh, this is the only sunscreen I can use. This is the only sunscreen I can get my boyfriend to use, my parents to use. I've had athletes, friends love it. Like it's just such a well-rounded formula that works for any skin tone in any climate. And best of all, it is such a good price. It's $7, $7. <laughs> 
That is crazy cheap. And I think one of the reasons why you guys loved it so much as well, I'd say this formula is definitely for combination to oily skin. It does provide a little bit of glow to the skin. It's nothing too intense. I confidently recommend it to anyone who has oily skin and it's truly just an absolutely amazing formula for such a good price point. Probably the best quality sunscreen for this price point that I have ever seen. I wanna talk about a newly discovered product that's actually a lip mask from Korea. I purchased this one when I went and visited and every single night I've used it, I've been really impressed at how thoroughly moisturized and protected my lips are. It is the Etude House Ginger Sugar Overnight Lip Mask. Now, let me tell you real quick, this formula is not for the weak of heart. It is a thick lip mask. When I first started using it, I was like, oh my goodness. I feel like I'm rubbing sludge onto my lips, but it was so highly rated and had won a bunch of awards. I was like, I'll give it a shot. Turns out it does an amazing job of moisturizing the lips. I've woken up in the morning with still moisturized lips, which is like so hard to find with any type of lip mask out there. This year I went on a personal journey to find the best lip masks on the market and the results were very disappointing. I really didn't find much at all, but in just the few weeks that I've been using this product, I've always been super impressed with it. I've I've also been using it during the day, which it says it's a night lip mask, but I haven't noticed any issues using it during the day, but beware. I would say it's definitely for people like myself who struggle with severely dry lips, where it feels like every other lip mask or lip balm on the market just doesn't do it. This one does a really good job. Ooh, I'm taking too much time. I gotta go through these quicker. I'm so sorry. And next up is a moisturizer that I actually featured in the best moisturizers of 2023, but I figured I would recommend it in this video as well because it is directly from Korea. And that is the Rovectin Clean Lotus Water Cream. Not only is it a really good affordable moisturizer that provides a lightweight but deeply hydrating experience, the primary ingredient in it is lotus extract, which is amazing for anyone who is concerned about premature aging, reducing skin sensitivity and irritation, and fighting against fine lines and wrinkles, as well as providing antioxidant protection. Lotus extract is just such an incredible ingredient that is very hard to find in one, affordable products, and two, not super heavy moisturizers. And I found myself using this moisturizer so many times days throughout this year. It is such a beautiful formula. Simple, but elegant and effective. I highly recommend it. This one's for all you mask whores out there because I haven't mentioned masks in any of my videos so far, but I figured I would mention one that definitely came in clutch this year. The I'm From Honey Mask. I started using the mask again this year and I was just reminded of how beautiful of a formula it is, particularly if you have dry skin, you're struggling with dehydration and you want your skin to just feel baby butt butter smooth. This is the product for you. It literally smells like you're getting honey straight from the bees and just slathering it all over your face. And it's also very tempting to eat. <laughs> So honey. But it's an elegant luxury formula that just provides a face mask experience like none other. And I'm not the biggest face mask person. I feel like a consistent skincare routine provides way better results than infrequent mask use, but this is such an elegant formula. And if you're someone who likes luxury skincare, especially if you don't wanna pay luxury prices, this is definitely a good product. It's amazeballs, what can I say? Okay, on to another one of your guys' favorite Korean skincare products. This one I've talked about in videos, you guys love it. It's gone super viral on TikTok, the Isentry Hyaluronic Acid Watery Sun Gel. I would say this moisturize, moisturizer, sunscreen. I need coffee. I would say the sunscreen is definitely a little bit more suited for like combination to drier skin types. It still feels relatively lightweight on the skin, but it does definitely boost that glow with the use of hyaluronic acid in the formula, but such a nice hydrating formula. I personally love using this one when I've gone on planes where my skin needs a little bit more moisture or when I've been spending time in dry ass Colorado. Super good formula from an amazing brand. And if you're someone who has drier skin and still wants like a very nice Korean sunscreen Screen that does give you a little bit of extra moisture, I would definitely recommend this sunscreen. Ow, oh, I hit my hand. And of course I have to mention the Beauty of Jason SPF 50 sunscreen, not the one in the stick, but the one in the actual tube. This is another amazing sunscreen that I've talked about so many times. It went ultra viral on TikTok. So nice. This one is ultra lightweight and I bring it around with me everywhere I travel because I can always count on it to provide a good amount of protection, a good amount of hydration for the skin, but not too heavy or greasy on the face. I would say compared to this, tree one and the cynic one it falls right in the middle which is like a good solid recommendation for combination skin plus if you have sensitive or irritated skin this is a great option because it has 30 percent rice bran extract which will help to provide that soothing and hydrating benefit niacinamide green tea extract like it is a stocked up ingredient list without feeling heavy or greasy on the skin and literally zero white cast beautiful formula you guys know the drill you've heard me talk about this sunscreen endlessly for like the past six months it's so freaking good for another moisturizer recommendation the iunique centella calming gel cream.
cream. I started using this one again a few months ago and I've recommended it in videos past. It might have even been in my best skincare videos from the past as well, I can't remember. But I freaking love this moisturizer because not only is it a great price, but it's such a lightweight formula. You'll notice a consistency when I talk about a lot of these products from Korea because I feel like nobody does lightweight skincare like Korean skincare does. Korean skincare still feels so lightweight and luxurious and that is definitely what this moisturizer provides. Plus the amount of centella in it is incredible as well as other soothing ingredients that are great if you're struggling with sensitivity. It kind of has like a cooling sensation to it, which is nice. It feels similar to like an aloe vera product, but it won't result in greasiness or heaviness throughout the day. It's just such a stellar product. Awesome moisturizer that I will always recommend to anyone who has oily skin or sensitive skin. And the final addition to the best Korean skincare products of 2023, this is my most recent find. I got it when I was in Korea and it is the Numbuzine Calming Water Sunscreen. Now this formula truly blew me away with how lightweight it is. Oh my God, I can't. My editor needs to put a lightweight counter on this video because the amount of times I've said it is ridiculous. It just sinks into the skin so quickly that even when I was like swatching it at the store, I was genuinely shocked at how light watery it is. <laughs> I hate myself. I keep using the same words. It's just so hard to describe. Plus the sunscreen is filled with bomb ingredients like Hotinia Cortada extract, licorice root extracts, Centella Asiatica, Madacasticide, all these great ingredients for antioxidant protection, calming the skin down, and even helping to fight against dark spots and premature aging. Plus apparently it also has 10 types of hyaluronic acid as well. It's a very impressive formula, a little bit more expensive than the other sunscreens that I've mentioned in this video, but so freaking good. And I've tried a bunch of other Numbuzine products out and I enjoy them, but none of their products truly blew me away like this sunscreen. And I highly recommend it for anyone out there who's looking for kind of like a leveled up sunscreen formula where you're getting that sun protection, but you also want a good range of ingredients to treat a bunch of different skin concerns. It's gag worthy, I tell you. And those are all the products, you guys. I know I went a little bit overboard with the amount of products that I'm featuring in this video, but I just get so excited when it comes to Korean skincare. Like, what do you expect me to do, bro? I love it. And I was so excited getting all of these Korean skincare products from actual Korea to include in this video. Now, granted, I bought about $400 worth of Korean skincare products to test for you guys, and by no means have I tested all of them. So if you want to see what my total thoughts on all the Korean skincare products that I bought in Korea are, make sure you stay tuned for that video because I will be posting an in-depth walkthrough and testing. But in the meantime, if you want to get any of the products that I've mentioned in today's video, I will have them all listed in the description box below. I'm so excited I got to share all of these products with you guys and that there's so many amazing formulas for such a good price point. I hope y'all find a match from this video. That is always my goal. I really hope you fall in love with these products as much as I have. Thank you as always for the love you've shown and I will see you guys in the next video. Mwah.